everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And I guess the, the best way to start this show out is to say you all had a really good turnout on that absolute auction we've been talking about. Exactly. I'm glad you brought that up because I know we've talked about it at a couple different shows mm -hmm. when Paul David was here and the last time I was here. Um, yes, we had an amazing turnout, a really nice crowd, perfect weather, which you always want to hope for, but you can never guarantee. Right. And um, the house sold, which of course it was an absolute auction, so it was going to sell, but the family was really happy with the price and that kind of stuff, so it was great. And that's one of those things, I think it was the show Paul David Brown was here mm -hmm. with me, that we talked about other services that you all offer a lot of people don't realize. And, and auctions are one of them, commercial, I mean mm -hmm. rentals, all kinds of things. Absolutely. We do offer a lot of different services that have to do with real estate. So of course appraising real estate mm -hmm. are kind of what we're known uh, to be, you know, what we're known to be for, but we also do a lot of auctions. We do property management, rentals, so anything like that that anyone would need help with, we ask them just to give us a call. I guess it's fair to say if you ever, if you have a piece of property, anything about that piece of property frustrates you, <laughs> you guys may be able to take that off their hands. Exactly. One way or another, hopefully we can help them. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start with some listings mm -hmm. and, and give this, everybody who's watching a chance to to get to know you guys. Sounds good. All right. The start, let's start off with one that's just been reduced. And mm -hmm. this one's in Johnson County. This one is in Johnson County. And this is one I believe we've actually talked about before. Um, you can look in the pictures. My favorite thing about this house, mm -hmm. the kitchen. The kitchen literally sparkles in the picture. It's a really good picture. Um, but it's a newer house. It is in the Stony Brook subdivision. If you're familiar with Johnson County, this is going to be off Route 3, like you're going towards Martin County. Going mm -hmm. towards Inez. Inez. Uh -huh. And uh, Stony Brook subdivision is going to be about five miles down Route 3, but you are still in Johnson County. So it's really convenient to, you know, the Inez area, mm -hmm. Paintsville, Prestonsburg, anything on that side. And we find that so often that, that people buy because of where they work versus mm -hmm. where they live. They want to be able to commute and, and it'd be fairly easy. So anything in those three areas, this is the perfect house for. Absolutely. It's a great location for anything um, over that way. Like I said, it's a newer house built in 2012, a really nice size. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, mm -hmm. sits on a really nice lot, and it just has a lot of extra amenities for anybody looking in that area. And it looks like you do have neighbors, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you see the mountains in the background. You've got that private feel, but you're still in a neighborhood, and a lot of people really like that kind of setting. And then, you know, looking at the inside, you talked about that kitchen, but there's a great picture also of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And you've got that, you know, that master bedroom suite. It's got the bathroom there and the tub. It's got the jetted tub. Mm -hmm. So it's got all those little <laughs> extras that somebody put into when they built this house. Mind you, again, they just built this house four years ago. Exactly, exactly. And we talked about the picture of the kitchen. You mentioned the granite countertops. It's also got stainless steel appliances are coming with it. They did custom cabinets. It's mm -hmm. got hardwood floors throughout the house, not just in the kitchen. You mentioned uh, the master bath. The one thing I do like about this one is it does have a little additional loft area that is perfect for a home office. So I know we've talked before about having the home office and everybody kind of, even if you don't work from home, a lot of times you have to bring your work home. Uh -huh. So it's great to have that as well. So if you're interested in, in this home at all in Johnson County, just off of Route 3, uh, is this the, the Paintsville office? This is actually Kathy Brown's listing. It is. It's Kathy's listing out of the Paintsville office. Mm -hmm. So you can give um, our Paintsville office a call for this one. Right. That number is 606-789-8119. All right. And the price on this one? Price on this one is two thirty five. dollars So great price. Mm -hmm. And if that's in your market, in, in that area you're interested in, definitely give Kathy a call in the Paintsville office. Absolutely. Now we'll remain in Johnson County mm -hmm. um, and we'll actually stay with Kathy Brown and do another one of her listings. And this one's a little bit uh, bet more between Johnson County and McGoffin County. So if mm -hmm. you have any uh, need to be Sagersville, any way up towards Campton, West Liberty, Paintsville, Prestonsburg, this is going to be one that you're going to want to pay attention to. It's accessible off US 460 going towards Sagersville from Paintsville. It's also accessible off US 23. Uh, between Paintsville and Hager Hill turns. Right. So like you said, convenience is, exactly. is key on this one. And that's, we've not even started 
We've just talked about where the house is. We've not even <laughs> told you about the house itself yet. The best part about this one, in my opinion, three and a half acres of flat, usable land. Which, it doesn't matter where we're talking about property. In mm -hmm. the mountains of eastern Kentucky, if you can say there are three and a half acres flat with a piece of property, automatically you're going to get some raised eyebrows. Exactly. Exactly. And this is a very, it's more of a peaceful country setting where you don't have a whole lot of neighbors. Of course, you're mm -hmm. going to have a few up the holler, but you don't have a whole lot of neighbors. Everything's really spaced out and you have a little room, you know, obviously for three and a half flat acres, you're going to have a nice yard. You're going to have garden space. You can build you know, extra houses. You can put a barn on it, whatever you'd want. Now, actually with the house, it's a uh, built in 1991. It is a two bedroom, two full bath, a really large living room, mm -hmm. large kitchen, dining room area. Um, she made sure to put on here that we mentioned the front porch. It's got a really nice covered front porch that's the length of the house. And so this is one, again, you have a lot of outdoor space that is going to count as interior living space because it's kind of an extension off of it. And you don't have to dust it and sweep it and exactly. run the vacuum. <laughs> so it's a freebie. There you go. <laughs> All right. If this anything in this area has made you think, I really want to look at that, um, we gave Kathy's phone number just a minute ago, but let's give her email address. Okay. The email is cbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. So definitely give her a call when you do or email her. 106371 is the MLS number that will bring this home up. The price on this one, under 100000 actually quite a bit under that. It's mm -hmm. $90,000 for this home. So if you're in the market, that's the area you're looking for, definitely shoot uh, Kathy an email or give her a call. Absolutely. Now we'll move back this way to Pike County and we'll take a look at some of your listings. This next one is one we've talked about before. You go through Floyd County to get back into Pike County. So it's actually in Pike, mm -hmm. but we're going to kind of work our way up. It's off Mare Creek. A lot of people know where that is in Floyd County. Right. But you go up there to Stratton Branch, you actually cross back into Pike County. So this house is technically a Pike County listing. This one's got 20 acres beautiful scenery. You are completely private. You really can't see another house at all except mm -hmm. on your driveway on the way up. You know, you've talked about the acreage. We've talked about how it looks, but you know, that's got a lot of things in this house that people look for, mm -hmm. like that first floor master bedroom. Exactly. First floor master, a very open floor plan. Your living room is open to your kitchen, open to the dining area. Um, the living room is actually a two-story living room. It's open to the second floor. Mm -hmm. And looking at the kitchen, too, I mean, it just screams family to me because mm -hmm. you've got a large kitchen, ton of counter space, so those who like to cook, that's what they're going to like. But then you've got the bar stools there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you can be in the kitchen, cook, people can sit around. I mean, that's family gatherings. That's that's holidays to me. Exactly, exactly. So this is a great one if you do have that large family. And then the thing I like about this house, it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Mm -hmm. But what we don't have on here is you actually have two additional spaces. If you needed a fifth bedroom, very easily done. If you need offices, very easily done. So this is one, if, if you're interested at all, they need to see it. Absolutely. Now, Jennifer, this one being your listing, uh, let's give the Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, the price on that one, 2499 mm -hmm. and that MLS number, 106550. So give Jennifer a call, tell her that number, she'll get it pulled up and get your uh, showing scheduled. Absolutely. Okay, now the next listing is also yours. Now, mm -hmm. this is one we've talked about and I love talking about it. We can do it every single show, but I know you <laughs> want to sell this house and move on. <laughs> that would be ideal. All of these we would like to sell and move on. <laughs> uh, this is the one we've talked about on Tolly Lane. Mm -hmm. And this is your second ski chalet, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yes, this this one is the dream. Yes, absolutely. Um, and if, if you're in the market for something like this, pay attention because this one has been reduced. It has been reduced and it's a really nice reduction. Mm -hmm. So it's something that if this is what you're looking for, definitely now is the time to move. Um, but this one is located on Tolly Lane, like you said, mm -hmm. which is in the Coal Run area right off US 23. And something that we have just figured out on this one and may be of interest to the people that are listening that they have not heard before. Mm -hmm. There are two lots for sale directly across the street that they will work with on selling with oh, wow. this. So if you want to maintain privacy, that's a possibility. There is also some additional acreage 
that they will include. That's okay. hillside acreage, but that could add a little bit of value, add more privacy. So it, there's nothing really set number-wise, but it is an option. Now this one's a four bedroom. It's got four bathrooms, and that includes three full and two halves. Wow. You have about 1,200 square feet of finished basement mm -hmm. space, which includes a family room, one of, the fin one of the full bathrooms, a wet bar, an office space, and it's a walkout basement. And entertaining is what mm -hmm. I think of when I see this home because one of the pictures we have shows that back deck area. You can do your outside entertaining in the evenings and right now this time of year that would be perfect. Absolutely, absolutely. And yes, and that picture shows it off great because it shows that you do have that back deck but it's private. Right. And everything about this is private. Mm -hmm. But then we're telling you all this privacy and you're right off of US 23. Exactly. Privacy and convenience. There you go. So uh, if you're in the market for something in this price range, 488.8, uh, give Jennifer a call on this house on Tolly Lane. Mm -hmm. And that's all you'll have to say on this one, the house at Tolly Lane. <laughs> and you guys can get that conversation started. Absolutely. And they're more than welcome to email me on this one if okay. they'd like. That's jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, this, the last one, let's actually move into the city limits of Pikeville. Mm -hmm. And this is another one I believe we would, we would describe as an executive style home. Yes, this is a more executive style house. This actually sits up on the Chloe Ridge subdivision, mm -hmm. um, gated community. So that adds a little bit more security. Also at the very bottom of the hill sits the elementary school. You're right across from literally downtown, the park, access to everything. So if you are in Pikeville mm -hmm. and you want access to everything in Pikeville very easily, this is one. You sit above Pikeville, you have the views, you have that privacy feeling in the neighborhood but then you're close to absolutely everything. And this is one, you're right at 4,000 square feet of living space, four bedrooms, three full baths. You do have a first floor bedroom. It is not necessarily the master, mm -hmm. um, but you do have one for guests, parents, you know, anybody that you would want to come stay. And then all three of the other bedrooms are on the second floor. And here we are getting into the hottest time of mm -hmm. the summer. So you had to have those two pictures <laughs> of that swimming pool, um, which will, right now is the time to be utilizing that. Absolutely, absolutely. And the pool, you can see the view from oh, the yeah. pool. Yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous view. The, something else that shows off the view, something that I think is really neat, the master bathroom is on that second floor. If you look at the rear picture, mm -hmm. you can see the big kind of picture window on the second floor. Right. That's actually where the master bathroom is, which is a really, really nice feature. Well, I mean, everything about this house has got my wheels turning. So yeah. if, if someone's in the market for a home like this, I'm sure theirs is also. So Absolutely. if you're looking for something in this price range, in the city limits of Pikeville, definitely make sure you give Jennifer a call. Mm -hmm. one zero five nine five five for this home at Chloe Ridge. Mm -hmm. Price on this one, five forty nine nine. Yes, and that's a recent reduction. So if anybody has an interest, now's the time to call on in. Okay, and let's give that Pikeville office number one more time. Okay, 606-437-2333. And I just want to mention, feel mm -hmm. free to talk to any of our agents in Pikeville. Anybody that is an RBNW agent will be happy to help you. They'll show this house or any house listed in Eastern Kentucky. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. Sounds good, thank you. Are you ready to buy a home? Your answer may be yes, but just because you feel it's the right time doesn't mean you're ready. A few items to help you prepare for buying a home, whether it be your first home or your fifth home. One, build good credit. Yes, there is a difference in good and bad credit. Build solid credit with a higher credit score to help you qualify for better loans and lower interest rates. Save. You need to save for a down payment and for unknown items like immediate home repairs and maintenance. Think about your wants and needs for a future home. I recommend making lists and labeling each item either a want or a need so that you know what your priorities are when you're out looking for a house. Find a qualified realtor and lender that will assist you through the process from start to finish. Red Brown and Williams agents are always honored to assist you with buying a home. Thank you for joining us for another Red Brown and Williams real estate show. We will see you again real soon.